everybody, welcome back to Interviews with Plants. I'm Alex, and today we're talking to the big leaf maple, scientific name Acer macrophyllum. This is a deciduous tree. It can grow up to 35 meters tall. It's found typically on dry to moist sites. You can find it pretty much anywhere, but the most likely place you'll see it is in disturbed sites. So places like open clearings, places that have been recently logged, uh, roadsides, trail sides, those kinds of places are where you'll most likely to find big leaf maple. If we take a better look at the overall form of the tree, you can see that it spreads out quite close to the ground. A lot of the times, big leaf maple will be multi-stemmed so it'll come out of the ground as several stems. This specimen here comes out as one trunk, but you can see clo quite close to the ground, it spreads out really rapidly with a lot of branches creating a really large canopy. This tree can be easily confused with black cottonwood. The bark can look similar, but the black cottonwood will grow quite straight from the ground and will start branching out a lot further up in the canopy, whereas big leaf maple tends to branch out quite close to the ground. If we take a closer look at the bark, it can be anywhere from kind of a light gray to a darker gray to brown color. It's quite ridged. And big leaf maple is often covered in quite a lot of mosses. Sometimes you'll find licorice ferns growing on big leaf maple bark as well. So let's take a closer look at the leaves now. And with a name like big leaf maple, you would expect some large leaves and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> this baby's got some pretty large leaves. They can grow from 15 to 30 centimeters across. They're five lobed, tend to be quite dark green on the top surface and a paler green underneath. The leaves will also turn a nice yellow color in the fall. Compared to some of the other maples in our area, the big leaf maple margins are fairly smooth. They're not quite as dissected as some of the other maples, and the margins are not as jagged. So compared to something like a vine maple, which has quite sharp edges, the big leaf maple got a little bit more smooth margins. You may also see big leaf maple leaves with a bit of a white fungus on them at some times of the year, they are prone to some sort of white fungal disease. The flowers are quite small, about three millimeters across, kind of a pale greenish yellow color. They come out in a, a group on some short stalks and they kind of hang in a cylindrical cluster. They'll come out when the leaves come out in the spring. The fruits of the big leaf maple are winged seeds called samaras. The distinctive thing about the big leaf maple samaras is that they're V-shaped, whereas vine maple samaras are kind of more horizontal. And these samaras are anywhere from three to six centimeters long. Another distinctive thing about the samaras of the big leaf maple is they've got these stiff hairs at the base. The other maples in our area do not seem to have this feature. So those were some of the key identifying features of the big leaf maple, scientific name Acer macrophyllum. I wanna thank you for watching. Let's thank the big leaf maple for its time. If you like these videos, please leave a like and subscribe below. It really helps our channel out. Thanks, see you in the next one.